Today's lesson is about inventory and locations. Where you can find it, go to the hamburger menu on the main Autodesk screen. We go to the inventory section, and here on top you'll see inventory. Just inventory items, transfer updates, locations, and products. First, I'll start off with the locations because that makes a little bit more sense. Over here, you can see that we have a couple of uh, inventory already uh, set up. Uh, we can maybe even uh, do a new one, and it's just a name, as you can see. We'll call it test uh, warehouse. And you just press save, and then at that moment, you would create a new inventory location. A resource, as you can see over here, automatically gets a uh, inventory location assigned to when they transfer items to themselves. In this case, there's no items here, but maybe in the past there was an item here. In the uh, stock room, you can see that there's uh, two products are in uh, in stock in there with a total of nine count in there, and that's also your default one. You see also they're all active. There's even a company car, so you can uh, transfer items over there, and then you can have stock in there as well. And there's a tech workspace and a test warehouse. Let me show you on how to transfer an items. And for that one, I have to go to transfer and updates, and we can select over here the product name. And you can see what's all going on. There's a whole bunch of products. Maybe it's easier if I just go with equipment. I know that one for sure is a stock item. I can press search. And over here, you can see that there's a uh, equipment was transferred to a ticket and was one already taken out. So here's kind of a list of, okay, how you can see that that particular items were taken out and moved to a different uh, stock room, or in this case, to a ticket. What we can do from here too, from the inventory and the locations, we can also look for the inventory items. If I just don't put anything over here and I just press search, it will give me a, a kind of a list of everything that is in stock right now. There's only uh, on hand, there's only nine in stock of the equipment one. Let's say I want to do an edit on that one. There's that little edit button here. And here we can say, okay, well, there's maybe a different type. Now there's on hand, but maybe we recounted them and there's only eight on hand. We can also say there's a reference number. Maybe that's a uh, count. If you have a bin, if you have a bin location, it would be great too. If you have minimum and maximum orders, that would be great too. In this case, now you can press save and close. And it will ask you for an update reason. And we'll say it's going to be a recount. This is where you can show that that. Now the items are on hand is only eight. The item is available to click on it right away too, from there too. So you don't have to put the edit one too, and that's where you get to the same menu as well. Now, not all the items are uh, in stock. As you can see, not all the items are an inventory item as well, because you have to make it an inventory item. Over here, there's also the last option here is products. And I'm not gonna search anything. Here you can see that all the products that are in the system here you can also see which ones are a, uh, an active product, of course, which ones are serialized. Remember, this is the switch, the different lesson we showed you how the serial numbers works with that one. It also has which one do not require procurement, meaning all the other ones do require a, a procurement. And if you want to have it, maybe uh, want to have it as a stock item, let's say this printer, we can do over here, we could say edit this product. And then here you can say maybe it's active, either way it's serialized, but you can also exclude it from procurement. And this is where you can uh, make items available for stock and or uh, requirement for, for procurement. Um, quickly going there too, as what you can see here too, we'll go out over there in the equipment uh, one. Equipment is over here. We go edit products. Cannot be edited. Uh, but there was a uh, inventory section as well. When you go to the edit products over here, I'm going to go again. This is where you can see too, where uh, on the product itself, when there's inventory, that's also a way how you can get to it and you can go to there. You can also say here, new inventory item right away on here, and you can select the inventory location. You can say maybe a company car, and we can also say there's one in the company car. This is an easy way to add uh, some items. Minimum zero, maximum zero. You maybe you want to have nothing in your car. Just want to have the value of one there. And here you can see right now, the, again, the double check on your uh, serial numbers because there's no serial numbers available. 
but this would be a way to and in this case it's a good control because serial number items you need to be controlled but if it would be an item with no serial number that's a quick easy way on how to get there uh, one last thing that i'm going to show you is in the inventory items and by clicking on it you will get this screen by right clicking on it you get an option of also edit the inventory item but here is also an order inventory item and delete inventory item here you can say a transfer inventory item and this is where we can say this equipment there's a quantity let's say i'm going to move two and i'm going to move them to my company car because i'm taking them uh go going to a client going to client once that is done right away you can see that i have uh, still eight of equipment on hand but there's two now in the company car and six are in the stock room and this way you have a good allocation and you know exactly where your um, your products are and that can also be done when a uh, resource takes out some items on the pick list they can also take it to themselves and that way you also know where all the items are i think that's everything for how to set up the products how to use them as an inventory item and an inventory location and the quick handy things to move around in this particular module. If you have any more questions, just go to our Facebook uh, group, paste the comment there, and we'll be happy to help you there.